Autonomous Regions Explained, Unraveling the Concept. Hello, and welcome to today's English language learning session. In this video, we're going to delve into the concept of an autonomous region. This term might sound complex, but don't worry. By the end of this video, you'll understand what an autonomous region is, examples of autonomous regions, and why this concept is important in global politics and geography. Let's embark on this enlightening journey together. An autonomous region is a specific area within a country that has the freedom to govern itself and make its own laws. These regions are unique because they have a degree of independence from the central government of the country they are part of. However, it's important to note that while they have some self-governing powers, autonomous regions are not completely independent countries. They still have to follow certain laws and regulations of the central government. The level of autonomy can vary greatly from one region to another, based on historical agreements, cultural differences, or geographical reasons. In this section, Let's highlight the key features that define an autonomous region. Self-governance. Autonomous regions have their own local government which makes decisions on various matters like education, culture, and sometimes even their own police force. Cultural identity. Many autonomous regions have a distinct cultural identity, different from the mainstream culture of the country. This can be reflected in their language, traditions, and social norms. Economic systems. Some autonomous regions have the freedom to establish their own economic systems and policies, which can be tailored to benefit their local needs and resources. Representation. Although they have a degree of self-governance, autonomous regions usually are represented in the central government and participate in national political processes. To understand this concept better, Let's look at a few examples of autonomous regions around the world. Greenland, although part of the Kingdom of Denmark, Greenland has its own government and controls most of its domestic affairs. Tibet, known as the Tibet Autonomous Region of China, it has a unique cultural identity and a certain degree of self-governance, especially in cultural and religious matters. Sicily, an autonomous region in Italy, known for its rich history and cultural heritage, with its own distinct language and traditions. Autonomous regions play a significant role in the world's political and cultural landscape. They preserve cultural diversity. By allowing regions to maintain their own language and traditions, the cultural diversity and heritage of the world are preserved. Promote peace and stability. Granting autonomy can be a way to address regional conflicts and grievances, promoting peace and stability within a country. Influence political structures. The existence of autonomous regions can influence a country's political structure, often leading to a more decentralized form of governance. Today, we explored the intriguing world of autonomous regions. From understanding what an autonomous region is to recognizing its significance in preserving cultural diversity and promoting global stability, we've covered quite a lot. Hopefully, this video has shed light on this important concept and its impact on our world. Thank you for joining me, and I hope you found this session both informative and engaging. Keep learning, and see you in our next video.